Hi, welcome back to LaTeX. Today we're going to create a curriculum vitae or a resume. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when we're creating a resume or a curriculum vitae, a CV, we generally want it to look quite professional and LaTeX is the perfect tool for that. Now, before we start typing, we want our information. So first you'll need to grab your information. So as we get started here, we're going to look at a basic idea of who we are and what we do, right? We've got our history here. We have our name, our email address, maybe a social media website like LinkedIn. Remember, this is a professional resume. So this is something to get a job. So you want LinkedIn. You probably don't want to put your Facebook or Instagram page there, but you could. You could. Depends on the, the career. Uh, you want your date of employment, what your title was where it was located, uh, like the, the company it was located at, where it was located, what country it's in, a description of that. And you have some skills, right? You wanna pop your skills in there. So let's convert this to something LaTeX worthy. So as we look at this, I'll have to go ahead and take this out of uh, a text editor and I'll pop it into Tech Studio. So I'll hit new over here and I'll go ahead and pop this in. And the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say, I want to make it as a document class modern CV. So I want to make this document class modern CV. And then inside of that document class, we have a bunch of different options. And, and for those options, we have our name and an email address and, and some other things like that. So we're going to put that in the preamble. And if you remember, the preamble is what happens before we get to the document side, where we type begin document, right? The preamble is before this point right here. So as we have begin document, which I'm going to go ahead and move that out. So I'll take that and we'll take that down here to where it probably should be. And since we're beginning something, I'm going to go ahead and end the document as well, just so it's, it's correct document. There we go. And, uh, that way, oops, <laughs> that way I've got the document and we've got some stuff in there. So let's go ahead and look at what we need in the preamble. Well, in the preamble, we're gonna need our first name and last name. So over here, we're gonna make this first name. In fact, there you go, first name, like that. And we'll just make that John. Yeah, it could be Jane. We'll make it Sam. There you go. Uh, and this will be Sam Doe. So we'll go over here. And we're gonna have a uh, family name in this case. So we got family name, Doe, like that. Uh, then we're going to have another choice in here, which is going to be our email address. So we'll email, and I'll just hit delete a couple of times there, joe at nowhere.universe. So got that. Like that. And we probably want a phone number in there, a mobile phone number. So I'm going to put mobile, mobile, and we're going to put our number in there. It's like 000 000 000 000 that kind of thing, a mobile phone number. And then we may want a uh, our homepage in there. This is a homepage. And you can put extra info in there. You can put extra stuff in there if you want. I'm just gonna leave that like that. Go on to the end. Right there. And so now we've got our preamble defined. Now, since we're using a link in there, I'm gonna not put any packages in yet. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, we got begin document, so we need to make a title in the with we begin the document there. And we probably want this to be in a section, right? So we want to make a section here. We'll call this section, oh, whatever you want to call it, we can call it employment. Would that be like employment history or employment? Employers, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, professional history, etc. And we'll also create a section over here. We're gonna create a section. And we'll call these, uh, we'll call this skills. Matter of fact, well, oops. You know, Tech Studio tries to help you out, but okay. There we go. Skills, and we'll end the document like that. So we've got a little bit of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and compile this. We'll build and view, and we'll see what kind of problems we run into. Okay, we build and view this, and well, it looks a little bit basic, right? It doesn't quite look like what we want it to be. And uh, so let's go ahead and start making a few further modifications to how we're gonna look at the, uh, 
how we're going to make this CV work. Well, we have the document class there, Modern CV. We don't have any packages at this point. We don't have any other options at this point. So you might want to put in the Modern CV theme. So what we're going to do is go over here and say Modern CV. Oh, CV style. Look at that. I wonder what that does. I haven't tried that. Uh, but we'll do a Modern CV theme. Hopefully that works. And in the theme, we'll go ahead and make it blue. You can make it red, whatever color you want. And uh, we'll say classic here for our CV. We're gonna try that now and build. And there we go. So now we have something that looks about right. And we've thrown our CV theme in there. And we have a couple of options. There's classic, there's casual. Oh, what else is there? There is, uh, let's see, old style. Uh, there's banking and I'm not sure what else there's some other things in there but I'm not sure classic is probably the one you want it looks really nice uh, but hey maybe you want casual or old style or something else and you can see you got those links there you got everything there so kind of nice we have our employment there and our skills but our employment doesn't quite look right Right? We want our employ employment to actually look like a, a resume should. And in order for that to look like you know what a resume should is we need our CV entries. So we're gonna do a backslash CV entry. And in fact, oh my goodness, look at that. It Can I expand this over? Does it show us? Oh, look at that. It says year to year, degree or job title, institution, city, grade, description. Very nice. So you see there's six options right there. Right here we can say uh, the year, 2021 to current. We can close that out now. Open up a new one. We'll say we're a lab technician. Close that, open a new one. And we got Happy University is where we're at. Close open. And location, whatever that location is, and uh, description or whatever it might be. Um, I just put description and we'll just close it up like that so kind of like that so we've got that for employment then we have a section skills let's go ahead and look at this as we're making progress so as we make progress here we've kind of got this information going on right there that could probably look a little bit better we could probably put a little more information in there in the uh, in the description section to actually talk about what we did while we were at that location so let's go ahead and do that so over here we'll make this that line and we'll let this be description and we'll type some text here of the job that you performed at that location during that time oops during that time okay and description goes at the end so it is the last option there description is at the end so let's go ahead and do that and there we go now we've got something a little bit better in there so we do have a, a kind of good stuff in there so okay that's pretty cool if we entered another one we could have another CV entry in there as well just copy it and I'll say from 2019 to 2021, uh, we were lab tech at Joyful University. Yeah, got a lot of great places here. Okay, there we go. And you can see how that's filling in your employment really nicely. It looks very professional, it, it looks great. Now the skills section, they, no, those don't look so good. So the skills, in fact, you probably want those skills to be at the very top. And before you start your employment, right? You want those skills to be at the top. And you may want your education to be at the top. So you may want a little section here for education at the top. Now you might want to just put that at the bottom or put that somewhere else, or you might want to put it after skills, etc. But let's go ahead and look at skills, some fancy options. Here, I'll compile that. So let's build and view. So you see how this is coming together right now. So this is very little typing, very little what we've done here, and we're already getting a really professional looking resume. So we've got this education, with the education here, we're going to specify um, CV entries. Let's see. 
where are we at? CV, CV entry. And we'll go ahead and put, I don't know. Yeah, sure. No, we'll say, uh, yeah, bachelor of arts, like that. And we'll open up a new one. And let's see what it's in. It is liberal studies. And it's at um, some university. So I think that's enough. I don't think we need, maybe we need location. So I'll put two more of those on the end right there. Um, just in case I need some more. Let's see, it says paragraph ended before it was done, so I might need another one of these. Let's do that. Six options there, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you have six options on that. And so we've got the liberal studies, some university, bachelor of arts. And we could say if it's in, uh, oh, somewhere, USA, and uh, see how that comes out and fills it in. So we do have some education there. Now the skills, now there, there are a couple of options here. This can make us look pretty nice. And we're gonna do a CV option here. So what is this double item? So we have this double item right there. Item, item description, item, item description. Well, that's pretty cool. So we'll put an item in there. We'll say Python and you can put basic skills or uh, we'll say moderate ability put another item in there we'll say C ability and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at what that happened. let's see go ahead and do another one we'll do it in this one just to fill out this out before we waste too much time we'll say Linux expert ability something like that and we'll go over here and we'll say uh, bash and uh, expert ability something like that right now delete the rest of this here so that's gone and we'll go build and view this and now if you look at that we've got that showing up just like that well that looks pretty cool and uh, that little thing right there where it just pops up and shows us that information that's not bad uh, now we can just go ahead and let's say we want to take out the ability there and just put languages in there so we don't want abilities in there what happened <laughs> I delete too much where am I um, whatever I just did undo it no nope. okay click there we go all right so we want to take out the moderate ability here. We're going to take that out, delete that. I'm going to take out the foundational ability right there. Let's see, programming. I'm going to do it like this. And we're going to see what it does when you only put two options in here instead of four options with the item in description. Let's go ahead and look at what that does for us and see if it, well, in this case, it said, oh, I can't do that. That's, that's not going to happen. We'll see if maybe that works. Okay, now I got the wrong kind of fields there. And you can play around with this. So you can see how you like it, what you like to do with it. Get that. Kill those two. And pull that together. So now I got Python over there, C programming, Bash, and Linux, Bash, like that. Looked a lot better when we had the abilities in there, uh, but hey, there you go, right? So let's go back over. Put that back to the point where we had our uh, abilities listed and look at it again. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we can also go through, let's say we want that Python to be bold font. You can do backslash text BF for bold font and then put that inside of a new set of braces like that. I'll just show you what that looks like for one of those. 
and now you see Python's bold and that nothing else is. We can do that for each one of those. So we can do that. We can go over and do that for Linux. Go over to the side here, put another braces in because we need to put that into braces for what we did there. And it did not take the braces. So let's try again, braces there. And it didn't do it again. Oh, come on, stop trying to help me. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. And we could go over here and put this text bold font in. Do not get rid of my double braces. Thank you. All right. And we'll put C in there and there. And now you can see those are highlighted. I mean, uh, those are bolded right there in your abilities. So these are some really cool options that over a very short period of time, you can create a very professional looking resume. Now, if you want to put a little statement at the beginning, right under make title, you could go over here and you can create another section. And yeah, you can call it whatever you want, right? You can go through and you can say, um, I don't know, professional profile. Hello. I have done this and can help your company do that. Like that. So we'll build this. And now I have this professional profile there, education, skills, and employment. So it gives us a very nice looking, uh, nice looking resume with minimal options. Notice I, I have not used any packages up here. I've not done anything really weird with that. So it's uh, it's just very, very nice looking with the minimal options. Now we could go through and add a few more options in here. So we could go through and throw some packages in. And that's if you wanted to use those packages to do additional, um, whatever you wanna do with it, right? So you wanna go through and compose the page a different way you want to throw uh, different margins in there. You want to um, you want your URLs to be clickable, which they already are, so that's nice. But if you want to do that, you can throw in a couple of other options there. But you don't have to, so we can take that out. We can go, you know, delete, delete there. Um, look at it the way it is right there. And if you want a full page, you might actually be able to go full page right here, or uh, letter paper. We, we'll see. We'll see how that changes it. Okay, yeah, I went to letter paper. And then over here we can go over and do use package. Nice. Use package, full page, like that. We can try that and see if it'll come around, and it does. So it comes around and uses a full page like that. We can take these options out. Um, you can use, of course, A4, different pages, and format the way you like. I hope that this has helped. This is creating a professional looking CV or resume in LaTeX.